So we had this segment recorded last week, but the quality wasn't very good, so we're doing it again. Uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon will be on PlayStation 5. There was news last week from IGN at Comic-Con. They had exclusive coverage that there was going to be a PlayStation 5 version. And uh, let's go to the article and uh, read what that's about. So Yakuza Like a Dragon is coming to PS5 along with previously announced platforms and will include an English voice dub option, the cast of which includes the legendary George Takei as antagonist Masumi Arakawa. It re revealed exclusively as part of IGN's coverage of Comic-Con at Home, the game will arrive in November 2020 for Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and PC via Windows Store and Steam. It will be released as a launch title for Xbox Series X this holiday, and the PS5 version will release at a later date. Yakuza Like a Dragon will be priced at $59.99 across all platforms, avoiding the mooted trend for more expensive next-gen games. So I had actually thought that uh, there would be a possibility of the PS5 version coming. Uh, there was some speculation that the uh, there was only going to be an Xbox Series X version because Microsoft had money had at that and nobody was going to pay for the PS5 version. But I thought it was really interesting that on the Steam page, the uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon for the Asia region was actually locked out for the Asia region and they couldn't access the pre-order page so I thought there was something funny about that um, and as you know with um, Yakuza it's a very big franchise in the Asia region so I assume that Microsoft wouldn't be money hunting uh, at least for the uh, Asia region and that they would just money hat the uh, Western release and it looked as though that uh, that's looking likely to happen and it's still looking likely that the PS5 version in the Asia region will probably release at the same time as the PC version because with the PC version uh, that's obviously going to be the best version if you have the best hardware so if they were to release that first there wouldn't be as much point um, for people to buy it again on the PS5 so seems as though that they probably want to release those at the same time uh, and in the article they didn't actually say exactly when they just said the PS5 version will release at a later date so we don't know there probably could be an exclusive period with the Xbox Series X version maybe like about six months or something like that and this could come uh, next year we don't I don't know I'm just speculating uh, but uh, at the very least, the PC version uh, in the Asia region is coming and uh, the PS5 version is coming also, probably at the same time. Now there's a bit more information about the English voiceover and they announced all of the voice actresses that would be playing the English dub. And uh, previously with uh, the previous game Judgment, they also had an English dub uh, option and a Japanese voiceover option so there were dual language options and they also had different subtitles for the English version and English subtitles for the Japanese because they were a little bit different <laughs> uh, so the voice actresses um, that were announced were Kaiji Tang as Ichiban Kasuga protagonist of the story returning from 18 years spent in prison George Takei as Masumi Arakawa, Patriarch of the Arakawa family, Andrew Morgado as Koichi Adachi, an ex-cop on the search for truth, Greg Chun as Yu Nanba, downtrodden former nurse making amends with the world, Elizabeth Maxwell as Seiko Mukoda, a bar hostess on a mission. The official trailer is out and uh, it was really impressive so uh, definitely go and check that out. It comes with the English voiceover so for people who've been playing the Japanese version this may seem a little different but honestly the uh, English dub is uh, extremely good so uh, go and check that out and you know I'm thinking of even um, doing the English as um, through my first run uh, just as something different especially as this is a new series anyway um, so I don't think that's gonna hurt but I really think uh, the quality of the dub is really good now and also the lip syncing as well so when you watch the uh, English trailer the lip syncing is to the English words so what they've done is really impressive as well there
So the standard edition is the Daiichi edition, which is $59.99 and includes a Legends costume set featuring eight costumes based on previous Yakuza characters, including Kasuma Kiryu, uh, Kazuma Kiryu. <laughs> a physical version also includes a steelbook case. The Hero Edition Digital Only $69.99 includes all of the above as well as two extra playable jobs to use in combat the guitar playing Devil Rocker, Naginata wielding Matriarch, as well as extra employees to use in the game's management mode minigame. The Legendary Hero Edition Digital Only $89.99 includes all previous content as well as bonus crafting, karaoke, ultimate costume and stat boost items. Yes, they have three different versions and Sega have been looking to monetize it a little bit more. Now, um, rest assured that this is not some kind of thing where you need the stat boost uh, to do better in the game. Uh, Yakuza games have always been, uh, have smaller DLC content on the side and people who've played the Japanese version have already said that a lot of this extra stuff that they got um, is not really necessary to completing the game and uh, it's uh, most of the stuff is really minor kind of stuff that you would get from um, Bob the Clown normally now that they, they've kind of put that in with uh, the higher editions of the game so it's not really needed and um, you wouldn't have to pay ninety dollars to get, really get the full experience I would say that the fifty nine ninety nine version I would expect would probably have like ninety eight percent ninety nine percent of all of the content you'd ever want anyway, and it's still going to be like the hundred hour experience that you know for Yakuza. So uh, if you don't want to pay for that ninety dollars uh, stuff, yeah, I I don't think it's really necessary at all, and you can enjoy the fifty nine ninety nine version.